back to the channel so first of all just log in with the uh, start your lab and open this thing in incognito window and uh, wait for a few seconds and it will be start the uh, the windows will be uh, established automatically like this now in the search box search for the powershell and from this options we have to choose this uh, blue one now right click over here and run as an administrator so one more thing guys before uh, doing the stuff uh, as a windows user we are using control c and control v but as a mac user we use command c and command v but here is a one trick for example i am using mac so if i just copy this thing and if i just try to paste over using command v it won't work okay for now for me i have to also use control v so if i use that control v so i can paste the command over here and hit enter so now this thing will take few seconds so, so just wait for that and control v if it not work for you uh, click over here then click go to edits and here you get option to paste okay so that's a way you, uh, that's a two way you can paste anything in the powershell so now just wait for a few seconds and this thing will be done uh, and we can move ahead with the task. So the this command has executed properly now just hit enter and wait for a few minutes because after hitting enter uh, the after that command the windows will restart so we have to wait for at least uh, five to six minutes and I will be show you if you just face that uh, con uh, connection error because many of guys face that kind of error so yeah just wait for that and if I face that error I will show you how to encounter uh, that error errors So yeah that's the error what I am talking about yeah it's restarting now and now you might face this kind of issue so what we have to do open this thing again in incognito and it will take around five to six minutes to restart the virtual machine and establish a connection so please not please do not worry about that just wait 
until it get uh, connected So yeah, so if we face like 502 bad gateway, so that's mean we are in the right path. So do not worry about this kind of errors. Just wait for a few minutes and again try to open in incognito window. The way I am doing, just follow the steps. Again, open the incognito window and yeah. So it's done. Now just wait for a few seconds. And now click over here and search for PowerShell again. And again open this thing in as an administrator. And now just come over here and copy this command and paste here using Control V. So it's done now now no need of this powershell so we can close this thing now we have to uh, choose this activate active directory administrative center so in the search bar search for active and here you can see active directory administrative center open this thing in as administrator now just scroll down a little bit and uh, if you just come over here you will get this name called alex so just copy this thing using so if you are using windows so yeah you guys for have the control v and control c but for mac user we use command c so yeah when we are in the lab instruction page we will use command c for copying anything and when we are in this uh, uh, virtual machine so we will use control c and control v for pasting so now in this uh, example uh, click on this down arrow then click on this users and here you will get the option to create new user so come over here and click on user now just wait for a few seconds and let me just increase this yeah so it's loaded properly let me just increase this thing
okay leave it so how to paste this thing control v like this now here type lx okay so we have made these two changes now click on okay from here so we have done with this thing so here you can find the name alex now right click over here and many of you guys face the issue while resetting the password so what was uh, so my recommendation for you so do one thing in the search bar search for the notepad open this thing okay now just pay uh, type this thing like l a b lab at the rate one two three four five so this is a password we are using for resetting so use control a for selecting and then control c okay now go over here and click right click on alex and click on this reset password and use control v same thing here control v so click on this okay so it's been done so yeah we have used this password okay now so we have done with that now we have to create one group so again click on this down arrow then click on this uh, group option now for the name if you just scroll down a little bit you will get a okay if you just scroll down a little bit and here we get a name like called python developers so just copy this name and come over here and paste using control v so here you can see i have i have given an extra space so yeah please make sure of that thing you won't give the extra space also okay now just let me just click on click on okay so it's done now how to search so if i just paste over here so i will get the python developers so we have done with the grouping also now we have to add into another group so right click over here then click on add into another group okay so for the name we have to use we will use developers from the lab instruction like this copy this thing and paste over here and click on okay so it's been done now again click on this and open the python developers group so it's open now let me just uh, okay so now you can see properly so if you just scroll down a little bit okay in the member section there is nothing so we have to add one member as given in the lab instruction page so click on this uh, add and in the search in the box type alex capital l e x like this sorry capital a and l e x and then click on ok so it's been done now click on ok so the member has been added now if you just scroll down a little bit and click on check my progress so we got a score now now it's just uh, in the search box search for the alosha so type here l a l o s a so click on here open this thing now if you just scroll down a little bit you will get member of function uh, click on this java developers and click on remove then again click on add now once once you add for x for the name so if you just scroll down a little bit you will get the option called python developers so just copy this thing and paste over here, here using control v then click on ok then ok and we are good to go if you just click on check my progress we got a score now this is the last step so just copy this and in the search bar paste using control v and open this thing in as a not uh, administrator now click on this 
forest then click on this uh, domain then click on this examples then here in the developers folder right click over here and click on this create a gpo for the name if you just scroll down a little bit you will get the name called new wallpaper copy this thing and paste over here using control v and click on ok and everything has been done if you just scroll down a little bit and click on check my progress you will get a score so yeah that's the way we have to complete this lab if you guys have any doubts please let me know in comment section thanks for watching have a good day